my haul on Free Comic Book Day, where I spent a lot of money, especially on this baby, uh, Barry Windsor Smith's Conan Archives, Volume 2. Then I got some of the some current comics, uh, Dial H, instead of Dial H for Hero, just Dial H, written by China Mieville, so that'll be interesting. I might review that. Hulk Smash Avengers by DeFalco, Friends and Friends and Busema, which interests me just for that team. Uh, and I got Earth 2, which I would like, I hope to review. Action Comics number 9, which I also hope to review. And World's Finest, Huntress and Power Girl. And then everything else I got were back issues that were heavily discounted. Captain Victory 1, Captain Victory 2, Captain Victory 3. It's this kind of Jack Kirby disease. It's hard for me to not buy things that are somehow related to Jack Kirby. So I got Silver Star 1, Silver Star 2, Silver Star 3, and then uh, I picked up a lot of back issues, or, you know, older issues that were half price. The very first Captain America I ever read, Captain America 149, with Batroc the Leaper. And then I figured 150, and 151. And I got a lot of these packs that this comic book store that I went to sold, sells, uh, gr not grab bags, they're packages with a series of comic books in them. These were also heavily discounted. So I went for Batman Odyssey, Neil Adams, wanted to see what he was up to. Uh, number three... I used to love Neil Adams' artwork when it was hard to find when I was a kid. And uh, I don't know, I've read bad things about this, but I still was curious and, and it would probably be fun to, fun to just look at, at the Neil Adams artwork. Uh, written and drawn by Neil Adams. Then just sort of some odd things that caught my attention. This one is called Superman Tarzan, Sons of the Jungle. Elseworlds. I, I like Tarzan a lot, so I thought it'd be fun to see him interacting with... Ooh, that's not good. They're stuck together. Uh, number... So it was a three-issue mini-series, Superman and Tarzan together. Just struck my fancy. Didn't cost very much at all. Um, then I also saw these Tarzans from Dark Horse. Again, since it was costing me so little, and I'm curious about what people do with Tarzan. Although it can be dull if they keep retelling the origin story over and over again. Hopefully that won't be the case here, but we'll see. Nice covers, though. Or mostly nice covers. Frank Frazetta-ish. Then I also picked up this older Dead Man series. I'm not sure. 2002, I guess, is when it came out. By Steve Vance, Joseph B. Roy, and Dan Green. Dan Green's the only one of those I know of, but it'll be interesting to see what this is like, what they did with Dead Man back in 2002. So, kind of a a somewhat random walk through the comic book store that ended up and I ended up just grabbing interest, things that looked interesting and that were quite cheap. But when you add it all up together it was not cheap. And then I saw these all-Star Squadrons, and I'd heard Howler Mouse talking about the All-Star Squadron, and lately I've been realizing how much I loved all the old work of Roy Thomas. And I believe these were all written by Roy Thomas. So I thought I'd check out a large run of 
All-Star Squadron, starting with number 25. We got number 26. Number 27. 28. 29. 30. We got 31. 32. 33, 34, 35, and 36. And then another package, continuing that. I'm going to open these. Continuing that run, 37. Superman and Mar Captain Marvel battling it out. I think uh, I think that also came up in one of uh, Howler Mouse's videos. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. And it looks like these are all written by Roy Thomas. So the changing array of artists. Uh, 42, 43, uh, drawn by Mike Barron. Oh no, that must have been written by Mike Barron. He doesn't draw it, does he? Um, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So if I read all of those and I still want to get more All-Star Squadron, I guess there's a lot more for me to dig into. <clears throat> Lots of reading ahead of me. Um, and I also dug deep into my wallet and bought Conan Volume 2, uh, hardbound archives of the Barry Windsor Smith period of Conan. Uh, probably my favorite Conan period. So that's my haul. Uh, I've been going to comic book stores a lot in recent years, and so I think I got overexcited. But um, I'll be doing some reviews in a bit. So uh, check me out again later. Bye-bye.